Recently, I brought you a declutter video where I decluttered over 350 beauty products. It was excessive. It was a four-year project, and you did ask to see what I had left in my collection, so that's what I'm bringing you today. But I realized that after doing that other video that was about 40, 40 minutes, something like that long, that it was a little bit too long. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm gonna split it into two parts. I have a cabinet full that I use and I'm going to just take that cabinet and I'll split it into its top part and then into its bottom part. So you'll be able to see both part one and part two in the next couple of days. This is part one. And we are going to get into what I have in my makeup collection and how I organize that right now. Okay, friends, so I thought I would just start out by showing you what I use for my storage. There is my laptop that I do everything on. This is my nightstand next to my bed. And then I, that is a tower that I got from Hobby Lobby that is like the Ikea drawers, but it's a little bit more on the shabby chic sh side. And then uh, last summer, I got one that is about half the size at a garage sale, which I really like. And then I store some of my palettes on top there. I do have palettes stored in other places as well. Okay, so let me just start by showing you what's in here. In the bottom drawer right here, there is all of my hair care items. I have my hair dryer, my curling irons, my brushes, and a lot of my hair products. And then in this drawer right here, I have more hair products that I use, which I can show you at a different time. These are my devices, skincare devices, my Naira, my microcurrent, my top lane hair, laser hair removal. And then right here are the foundations and the primers that I'm trying to use. Um, there's a lot in there. They're ones that I'm wanting to test that I haven't really got to yet, or ones that I'm thinking about trying to dupe as far as that goes. In the top drawer right here is a full drawer of She Glam. I'm gonna be going and doing hopefully a full face of She Glam before very long. Um, excited about that. All right, friends. So this is the little caddy that you saw on top of the black holder over there, the black little dresser over there. From Ilia, this is their Cool Nude Necessary Eyeshadow Palette. I got sent this very recently. Need to try that out. From NARS, I purchased this one. This one is the Climax eyeshadow palette. Do they have any other name for anything <laughs> at NARS? And then Charlotte Tilbury, this is one I got last year. This is the Lightgasm, and I've loved this. Been using this quite a bit. From Bare Minerals, they sent this one to me. This is their blue palette. Cool grays and blues. Um, this is the Mineralist eyeshadow palette, and it doesn't say a name. Stonewashed. Stonewashed is right there on the packaging. Then from Hourglass, each year I do pick up their um, palettes that are around the holidays, and I love using these. You get such a variety of them. This one was from last year. I did pick up this one from last year as well, and that one is called the Lighting Edit Sculpture. And then this one was from two years ago, I believe, maybe three years ago. I just, I love these, I keep them. This one is from this year. I really do like these. I think that they are great palettes and they're a great way to try out Hourglass if you haven't before. And then of course this one was a couple years ago. That's the ghost one. And I have the other one to go with that. And then right in front of there, I have a Tom Ford eyeshadow quad that I would have never bought in a million years, but I was at the cosmetic store at my local outlet mall and they had where you could get five or six items for $10 each. And so I picked this up and I haven't even had a chance to try it yet. So I will be working with that soon. This is from LA Girl. This is their Keep It Playful Eye Palette. Love this. It's very well loved on that one. And then I have from Nabla, their Midnight Cutie Palette. Um, really love this one. I don't know if I'm too crazy about all that sparkle right there, but it does adhere to your eye really well so for some special occasion I think that would be great behind that um, on that side over there is my loved Sephora micro smooth uh, palette this is a dupe for these um, 
hourglass ones. They're so good. I love these. They are every bit as, as good a quality and they just perform so well. So nice on those. Pixie by Petra. This is my Nuance Quartet Sugar Blossom. I had a bunch of these, but this is the one that stood out to me. And if you've never seen any of Pixie's um, highlighters, oh my word, they are gorgeous. No shimmer or no um, glitter in them, just beautiful shimmer. My Of Quartz palette, I have a bunch of ColourPop right here. Of Quartz, so pretty. This one is from the Sephora collection as well. I Bloom, this is one of my favorites because it's got cool tones, but it has that pop of warmth in there too. Hopefully that's the name of it. This is from Cover FX. This is one of their face palettes. I don't think you can get this one anymore. You might be able to get it on Mercari or Poshmark, but I have loved this so much. It's such a good palette. From uh, ColourPop Flutter by Palette. Oh, I need to work with this right now while it's the holidays and really get some use out of that one. This palette, this is the Smashbox, the Kelly Contour Palette. If you haven't had a chance to buy that palette, it is so, it's so quality and I love it. You can throw this in your purse and have this as just one and done for so many things like eyebrows, highlighter, blush, setting powder. It's a gorgeous palette. And then I have the Violets from Juvia's Place, which I really love. And then I have the Cool Vibes from Violet Voss. I bought that this year too. And this is one amazing palette. It's one of my very favorites. Okay, and over here is the Persona palette. This is the original Identity palette, which I love those neutrals in there. That is such a beautiful palette. From Alter Ego, the Shadow Kiss, which is a dupe for the Natasha Denona glam palette. I really, really like this palette. I think it's fantastic. Here's the Sultry palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I keep this because I love this, but you can get the dupe from Alter Ego in the Temptress palette. I'll show you them side by side so you can see what I'm talking about. They're just, they're identical and they perform exactly the same and I love them. From Patrick Ta, this one is his blush palette that came out during the holidays this year. I have seen these in stores a little bit and I just really adore his formula. So I was definitely one that was gonna hop on that train. And then this is the Charlotte Tilbury release this year. I don't know if I'm as pleased with this one as I was the one that I got in the past year. Um, this one, other one was really good for highlighting. This colors are really pretty warm. I probably will end up finding a different home for that, but trying to use it in the meantime. Dominique Cosmetics, I think this is one of the very few from them that you can still get. This is her Berries and Cream palette. And I am in love with this palette. And for a couple of reasons, this color right here, this white, and this one over here, they're outstanding but all of these colors they play so well together you can get countless amounts of looks out of this this is one of the most fantastic palettes i've ever used and then these ones that i pulled out are all of my color pop palettes let's go over the ones that are in the hard cases the meant to be palette incredibly beautiful greens oh my goodness i used this one in a tutorial very recently and then the blue moon palette i've loved this one as well this is one with so many beautiful colors this periwinkle blue oh my goodness that is one of my favorites the cloud blue palette on cloud blue this is one that i actually haven't had a lot of chance to work with i'm excited to work with it but i haven't had a ton of chance yet and i can't wait to kind of dive into that one really love it the lilac you a lot this one is a gorgeous purple palette that i can't get open for some weird reason there we go. All right, and this one is loved too. Actually, this little one, it looks like it's gonna pop out. It does have pinks in it. Um, this one is kind of a muted pink. I do like that it gave you a duochrome. That's not a good finger. I do like that they gave you a duochrome right there. It has kind of a gold pink shift to it. Beautiful palette. This one is newer to me as well, but I've enjoyed working with it. It's the Lock It Down one. Has such gorgeous colors in it, and some of them really are very cool toned and I enjoy working with that one making mobs very cool toned this is one of my favorite palettes ever sorry about that I didn't mean to get you out of frame there and then that's taupe palette this is a probably their most cool tone besides the 
showing smoke or whatever it's called palette. I adore this palette. This one is one I work with and reach for all the time. And then High Tide is the aquamarine palette that I am just absolutely in love with. If you want to do green on your lid, and that one is just gorgeous. So down here in the drawers, these drawers right here are full of my Sydney Grace liquid eyeshadows. If you have never seen these, these are incredible. Um, they last all day long. They go a very, very long way. And oh my goodness, they are so pigmented. Look at that pigment. Holy Moses. That is incredible. They are just, there's something very, very special about those. And I have, what, six of them, and I would love to get some more. They're just that good. And then over here are my Super Shock Shadows and then my L'Oreal Infallible. The L'Oreal Infallible is one of my very favorite formulas ever, and I was talking about this recently in a video. This one is called Golden Sage. It's not got any gold in it at all, but that sage is incredibly pretty, and those colors are super duper saturated, and they will go on your lids, and oh man. So it's kind of like a loose powder that's pressed by that stopper in there. I just... I love this so much. I need to do some more looks so you guys can see that. Oh, and this Super Shock Shadow is named after my husband, Bill. It's not really, but you know, I like to think it is. This is one of their mattes that's kind of a matte, taupey, pinky brown. And I love working with that one. It is one that I think so many women can um, work with. Some of these that I really rave about, I will make sure that I list for you and link for you down below. All of this stuff is stuff that I love. Please keep in mind, please, 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 don't come at me about having so much. This is my job, this is what I do for a living. So I hope that you guys understand that. Okay, let's move on to my next set of palettes. Okay, across the room, this is where I store the majority of my palettes. This is just a wooden box that I have out on a dresser over there, and that's where I store the majority of everything. So I'm just gonna start with last year, this is the Naughty Palette from BH Cosmetics. Have you all heard that BH Cosmetics is going out of business and they will no longer be with us? So I'm I'm definitely going to hold on to this. This was one of the best palettes I think that they've ever done. I loved the color selection in here. You could go on and on forever with that one. And then I have two over here that are kind of hidden. Smitten in Switzerland, I've talked about a million times. I actually saw this at TJ Maxx the other day and Marshalls. If you guys have a chance to pick up any of these that are the actual names of, of countries or places, pick them up because they're so good and they're gonna be really inexpensive. The Blueberry Muffin Palette is also gone. I It's not on the website anymore. It's not on uh, Ulta's website anymore. This is gorgeous. Make sure that if you get the chance to, you pick up some of these because they're, they're that good. And then another one that I don't have in here is my new Tarte C1. This one is really pretty. It has a lot of very neutrals and then very cool tones on like mauve tones. Gorgeous, gorgeous palette. I love that. And then another one that doesn't fit in there is my newest one from I Love. And this is a Sephora collection one as well. This one I got influenced to buy from my dear friend Tamara. I have swatched this. It's got great colors in it, but I haven't had a chance to work with it. And I love how light it is. I also have another one from BH Cosmetics that my husband bought me and I haven't had a chance to work with it either. It's Nightbird all kinds of purples in it, so pretty. From Flower Beauty and Charlie's Angels, they just sent this to me, and this formula is great. I did do a look with this just the other day, and I had a ball working with this one. It's got enough of the neutral tones in it that you just really can go to town, but it also has these neat little pops of color that you can work with. The Maneater from Tarte, I have seen this a little bit left, but I don't know exactly how many there are left around. Um, this one's gonna be discontinued as well. From Natasha Denona, her new Glam Face Palette. This one, I, I can get some good looks out of it, but I'm really on the fence about it. It's very warm toned. If you're a person that likes warm, uh, warm tones, this is perfect. If you're somebody that likes cool tones like me, 
this is okay. I just wish it was in a cooler tone. I love the quality of it. And then my new glow kit that I got from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I got this on Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. And I love it, but I haven't worked with it that much. So a lot of these are new to me. Haven't had a chance to work with them. My favorite palette of the year last year was Lust for Dusk by ColourPop. The amount of color, uh, looks that you can get out of all these colors is phenomenal. And their actual formula is just beautiful. I love ColourPop. I have these two from ColourPop as well. The Stone Cold Fox, which everybody knows about. You all know about that. And then, of course, the Smoke and Roses. And I do have another one coming. I can't remember what it's called right now. But both of these are so pretty. I love those. And then from Juvia's Place, I only have a couple left. The Deuce Palette by Juvia's Place. Um, that one is just full of the most beautiful colors. And if you've never seen Juvia's Place, you're missing out because these are some next level shadows that are incredible. I love those things. And then of course, the Magic Palette. I kept that one too. Full of gorgeous, vibrant, incredible colors they don't come in this big size anymore they come in a mini um but wow i love those okay let's go to let's go to some indie brands first of all the this is sydney grace the enduring love this is the old packaging i used and used and used this one and i still could take this one and the mel thompson one and just take those two palettes and be completely happy for the rest of my life on a desert island. So the Tiny Marvels by Mel Thompson are, are lovely Mel Thompson. And this is so good. And I do believe that they still have this one that you can order. And But when it goes away this time, it's going to go away forever. But take a look at that green that Mel created. Isn't that just something special? So, so special. And then I do have the Natasha Denona. I have the Glam palette. And I don't know where my other one is. I have the new one. What's the new one called? Retro? I have the new retro one, but I'm not sure where it is right this second. These are the LA Girl ones. The Fierce and Wild. Love the colors on these. The um, Hot Heat, and this one is Aloha Vibes. And again, colors just incredible. Main Stage. This one is the Desert Dream Palette. Um, a lot of these colors are a lot alike, but I love them. And then the Break Free from LA Girl. This formula, you want to talk formulas. This formula is incredible. If you get the chance to get anything from them, that one's a topper, so it's not going to show up that well. But if you get the chance to um, get these palettes, they're so pretty. I mean, I'm talking about the prettiest foil I think I've ever seen with all of those. They're so gorgeous. And then... This one is the Pixie by Petra, and this one is Denise. Make it by Denise. And I was going to declutter this, but I couldn't because I absolutely love those glit. They're not glitters. They are just shimmers. They're highlighters. There's absolutely no glitter in them whatsoever, and that is an incredible formula. Next to the ColourPop Lust for Dusk, my favorite palette of the year was the Rose Quartz Huda Beauty. I... She knocked it out of the park with this. I am not a huge fan of all of her others. As a matter of fact, I've decluttered so many that I bought, but this one is so special. The Cinderella palette I just barely talked about from Sigma. This is incredibly gorgeous. These colors are, oh my word, I can't even begin to tell you how special these colors are. And every time I wear that color on my eyelid, I get so many compliments. This is a gorgeous palette. This is a Cheek Parade palette from Benefit that I got a couple of years ago. I just hold on to this because it has all the colors in there and I like using those. And then the Cheek Stars from this year, I was so excited to see the one that is Cookie in here and it had Georgia and it had the one that is the Swirl one, Sugar Bombs, I guess is what it's called. And so I was really happy and I pretty much have all of the Benefit colors from those two palettes. Now I do have two palettes from um, Gimme Glow Cosmetics. 
incredible company, indie company, if you're interested. These aren't inexpensive, but their colors are so gorgeous. I am just in awe of how incredibly beautiful these colors are. And they are so highly pigmented and the mattes are this incredible buttery formula. And wow, I just, I can't say enough about these indie brands because sometimes they do things that are just so much above what mainstream cosmetics are. I just love them. And then this one is the Vivid Rose. Look at all of those colors. Of course, I'm gonna instantly reach for that purple and I got too much on my finger, but let me just show you the incredible swatch of that. Isn't that just, oh my gosh, I need to use that on camera more because it is one that is just so pretty. This is an incredible palette. I I love this palette and it's got a little bit cooler tones on it. The Tarte, the Tartlet Full Bloom, I think I did a whole look on this one, but this one has just gorgeous neutrals in it. Um, I kind of got into doing some neutrals this year because I had so many colorful palettes, as you can tell, but that one was one of my favorites. And then this one is from Colored Rain and I've had it forever. You can tell it's just loved to pieces. I probably won't get rid of this one. It has these incredibly pigmented, gorgeous shimmers again, but these mattes are so buttery and so soft. They are just next level mattes. They are just so pretty. I love this palette. I have a Morphe 35C Everyday Chic. I don't have any other Morphe palettes. Um, I've never been a huge fan, but when I got this and saw this, I fell in love. And I have done so many looks out of this. There are just countless amounts of looks. And this formula in this particular palette seems to be really good. You know the old uh, Jaclyn Hill palette? Oh my gosh. Really close, really, really close. And then I have some that I just made up myself. And these are palettes from that, like these are Buxom. This is a Viseart couple palettes that I took apart. This one right here, um, I think that this big one is from Sydney Grace. These are some of theirs. And then I think that these are uh, Gimme Glow. Yes, these are some Gimme Glow ones. And those are just singles that they, put together. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. And then this is mine. This is a tin that Makeup Forever used to have. And then these are just my purples and my neutrals, some greens in there that I absolutely love. There is a mixture of Sydney Grace, ColourPop, um, the old formula from Makeup Geek. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot that. But such beautiful colors and yeah, they're just, they're too pretty. So let me put this one back together as well. Again, this is not normal. I know it's not normal. A normal person would not have this much in their collection, but this is my job. This is what I do. And I try really hard to be mindful now of what I purchased. When I first started YouTube, I purchased everything under the sun. Now I try to be a little bit more mindful. So please keep that in mind that I know that this is not a normal person's makeup collection but this is what I do for a living. Consider this inventory just like Walmart has inventory.